your health and wellness are important to us and your employer. CHC Wellness, redefining health. One in three people will die of cardiovascular disease, so stop. Take a look around the room. If it's not you, it could be one of your loved ones or one of the other two people there with you. It's so important to get your heart numbers, and now that you've had your preventive health screening with CHC Wellness, it's time to understand those numbers. To look a little further into them, we met with Dr. Thomas Grabelny at the Chicago Institute of Neurosurgery and Neuro Research to get his take on understanding blood pressure and cholesterol. We all understand that the heart is the strongest muscle of the body, but let's understand when taking care of the heart really matters. What are some of the risk factors of heart attack and stroke? Both heart attack and strokes are very similar diseases because they involve this disease of blood vessels. So every time we have a risk factor that increases uh, disease within the blood vessels, we have increased risk of stroke and increased risk of heart attack. For those factors are increased blood cholesterol. And it's not that something will happen over a period of day or a few weeks. Increased cholo cholesterol causes hardening of the blood vessels and the process takes many, many years. Another risk factor, increased blood pressure. The, the heart gets tired and uh, and we have increased risk of heart attacks, but also at the same time, the risk of stroke increases. Obviously, age is one of the risk factors. The family history of prior heart attack or prior history of stroke put that person in risk of those diseases. What are the warning signs for a stroke? Well, warning signs of the stroke, there are multiple of them. We can feel dizziness. We feel dizzy and stable on our feet. We may have hard time seeing through one of our eyes. Uh, we may have weakness or numbness in one of the extremities. With all those signs, uh, every patient should be evaluated and uh, come to a primary care physician or go to the emergency room. Well, uh, if we're talking about prevention of stroke, we have to talk about risk factors. So one of the risk factors is increased cholesterol. So checking, uh, doing a blood test for, for level of the uh, cholesterol is, is recommended, especially with patients with obesity or patients with a family history of increased cholesterol. Checking a blood pressure. I think you know we should periodically check uh, blood pressure uh, as we're younger and, and we age. Uh, blood increased blood pressure increases risk of stroke. Uh, in addition, uh, with age, I, especially patients uh, 55 and older, we should do uh, carotid Doppler. It's a special ultrasound that uh, listens to the velocity of blood flow in the neck. 80% of all stroke originates within the blood vessels in the neck. So that's a very important factor. What are the warning signs for a heart attack? Well, uh, I'm not a cardiologist, but uh, the warning of the heart attack is uh, usually chest pain. We call it, you know, we call that symptom angina. Usually uh, pain in the chest may radiate down the left arm. When a client receives preventive health screenings, what is the significance of total cholesterol number? Well, I, I, you know, if we're talking about cholesterol, we all know that there is so-called bad cholesterol, good cholesterol. The total number, the figure that we always try to use is 200. So if somebody has a cholesterol uh, higher than 200, it's, it's too much and we have to try to lower it below 200. Then there are different ratios of good and uh, bad cholesterol but we don't want to go to all the details. I think the magic number is 200. We, we all try to keep it below 200. What is the significance of preventive health screenings concerning blood pressure? Well, uh, the good blood pressure is, we usually say, 120 over 80, but there is a range to it. I think uh, the latest recommendation is that, you know, we should keep our blood pressure below 130 systolic and uh, below 85 uh, diastolic. So uh, what happens with the high blood pressure, we're talking about the heart, the increased blood, uh, blood pressure causes the heart, uh, heart to work much harder. And over a period of time, the, the muscle will weaken and there are other problems that may uh, evolve and, and cause a heart attack. If we're talking in respect of high blood pressure for the brain, long-standing high blood pressure increases the hardening of blood vessels and hardening of blood blood vessels not only causes uh, increased risk of stroke, but also increased risk of heart attack.
So now that you understand your heart numbers a little bit better, strive to improve them for next year. Increase your healthy habits and lower those numbers to improve your profile.